Peter, a lot of motion for you. Uh, How would you feel with getting a win here in the morning? Uh, not really. Uh, I'm just happy for the team. We came out and did what the game plan, follow game plan, and got the next win on the schedule. So I'm just happy for the team. What do you think you guys were able to say either for either guy um, or both? Stay, stay so sharp with the long layoff. I mean, I thought we had really good practice leading up to um, this game. And, I mean, we knew we had a good win against Iowa State, but we didn't want to be content with that. Uh, we knew we had a tough competition coming in here on Saturday. And I um, was just really happy for our team overall to be able to stay focused and compete against these guys. What's clicked defensively, Pete? Um, I feel like we just bought into it. And uh, we play every four minutes, and, uh, starting with the – with the upperclassmen and then uh, under uh, lower classmen, the freshmen, all of this up to up too. So I think it's just talking and our chemistry been good too. So what was the plan on Morgan what you guys get done? Excuse me. What was the plan on Morgan? What you guys get done on him? Uh, I mean he's their best player, so I mean our plan was just uh, not let him get up <coughs> touch it and make it hard, make him take contested shots. And uh, I think we, as a group I think we did a great job with Nicholas, it seems like the defense, especially on the perimeter, you know, the guys do a much better job of you know, getting up, <coughs> testing that shot, yet getting back in position. Is that something that's just been stressed, or did everyone just, the light's finally gone on for everybody? Or what? I think it's a mixture of that, but also just practicing as well. I'm doing a lot, a lot better job just doing it in drills and practice, and then the practice carries over into games. And we knew you and I, you know, they like to shoot threes and they're a very good three-point shooting team. So we knew we had to get out on their shooters and also contain the drive because when they drive and kick, they're really effective. So I'm um, just really proud of our collective effort as a team. Nick, do you, how different is your approach coming off the bench to starting? I mean, it seems like you you bring that, that energy or whatever uh, off the bench. Yeah, I don't think I really changed my mentality. Um, started coming off the bench, just um, knowing whenever I go into the game, just trying to impact the game with my energy. Um, I'm just trying to be a good teammate for all my teammates out on the court. Nicholas, how much do you guys feed off of what Pete does when he kind of gets in a role? Do you, does he bring, kind of carry you guys with you? Yeah, especially, I mean, when Pete's hitting shots, you know, we're tough to beat. And, you know, he was hitting today. And, you know, just the level of difficulty that he's hitting, there's, you know, so difficult. So, you know, whenever we can get Pete rolling, you know, Pete's such an unselfish player that he'll make plays for other people. So, you know, Pete's knocking out a few shots and then, you know, pick and roll and he finds Cordell for a layup or something like that. So, you know, whenever you get a chance to play with a player like Pete, you're going to be successful. Nicholas, the defense is better. The rebounding has been much better of late. I know uh, Pete's leading the team, but you, you guys got you got all the hustle plays today, and that include rebounds. Is that just where does that come from? Just effort. Yeah, I think just effort, but also knowing that um, you know going into this game, we knew that you and I really pride themselves in getting 50-50 balls, and they're a very good rebounding team. And I think we just understood that if we want to be successful, you know, if you, all, all championship level teams they play defense and they rebound, so. Uh, I think our last two games, we've rebounded very well and we've defended well, and as a result, we have two wins. Pete, there was a stretch there in the, late in the first half. I think they closed the gap to, to five points, and then you came out and scored eight and like a handful of possessions. What was kind of what was what were you doing effectively on offense to get open and make those shots? <clears throat> uh, I mean, I, I thought they did a great job defending me in the first ten minutes. I couldn't get a shot off, or every time I came off the screen, they doubled me, or when I posted up, they doubled me. And uh, I mean, I just let the game come to me, and uh, I saw opening, opening in, the, in that stretch, and I just took the, my, the opportunity, so it was fun. Pete, what does it mean uh, after beating Iowa State by 14 to be another NCAA tournament team from in your own state? To, what does it mean to beat the other two big rivals in the state, I guess? Uh, it just means that we can uh, we can play at a high level against anybody in the country. Um, it just shows like we can defend against Iowa State, against a team like you and I. They're great offensive teams. and. Uh, at this moment, we're just getting better as a team and getting ready for the march instead of right now. So I'm just happy for the guys, the way we've been playing and buying into each other. So, How important have these last two been collectively for you guys, both morale-wise, mental-wise, to get back in uh, the, the groove, I guess? Um, you know, I think just anytime you can get two wins against two quality teams like that, um, you know, it's going to do something for your confidence. But you know, I think it's just a testament to us proving to ourselves what we're capable of. and knowing that we still have tough competition coming up um, you know, before, before Christmas and then obviously after Christmas we have a Big Ten schedule as well. So um, these two games, I think, have been great ways for us to lay the foundation for what we want to do building forward. Pete, you guys played a, a pretty demanding non-conference schedule. How do you feel that's going to help you uh, as you go into Big Ten play? Um, I think I think uh, Coach did a great job scheduling this team, kind of teams like this, to uh, get us ready for Big Ten. Um, I don't think we played anybody that was a bad 
and I was just preparing the younger guys to see what the level of Big Ten is going to be. So, I mean, uh, uh, it was a challenge for us, but at the same time, I just told the guys we, we got to stay positive, and uh, it's a roller coaster, like I always say, uh, we're going to have ups and downs, but it's a long year. So, as long as we're getting better, and that's what we've been doing, that's all that, uh, that matters to us. Just a couple more for the players. See, they took you out with five minutes left. You got a nice applause from the fans here. What did that mean to you? What was going through your mind then? Uh, nothing. We just got to win. I was just happy to team. <coughs> How important was it right off out of the gate of the second half to see Isaiah score, I think seven straight points, kind of stifled their momentum or any momentum they were hoping to create, and then also showed what he's capable of doing? Um, I mean, I was happy for him. Uh, he was kind of quiet the first half, and then the uh, second half I told him, and I think Coach told him too, to pick it up. And um, this just showed that uh, there's other guys on the team that can step up when they're trying to stop me or anything. So I think he did a great job today stepping up, helping us out too. So. Okay, thank you.